Good morning to you all. My name is Debbie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where we speak live, speak what you seek until you see what you said. Today is going to be another military vlog. Um, it's going to be different than last because uh, it's daytime and I'm in my PJs. And if you're in the military, you're asking yourself why is she in your PJs when we're supposed to be up and running by 5 in the morning? Well, let me tell you. Today is Victory Wellness. Victory Wellness at Fort Riley is basically just a time to uh, sleep in. And then there's a specific time where you sit down with your platoon and talk about, you know, the five pillars. Social, spiritual, family, physical, and mental, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that's it. And... Yeah, it's that's what they're doing, but for the clinic, we don't open until 10, so it is currently 8.30, I think. Uh, I just finished feeding my dog. I took her out, and I'm feeding my dog, but she's not eating, so I'm going to go ahead and just sit here for a while until she starts chewing on her food. Then I'm going to go change, make sure I have lunch because it's going to be a full schedule today. Lieutenant Russ is back. And we're going to be working out of the clinic, uh, even though I thought that we weren't going to go back. If you saw my last vlog, there was a little issue with the pipes uh, the other day, and I didn't think we were going to come. Look, she's crying. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> there was a little issue with the pipes, um, but they managed to fix it, I guess, and so we're back and running. So let me go do this real quick, and then let's get started with this vlog. Hello, Sergeant. Oh, okay, so he's got it. All right, sounds good, no problem, bye. They're always calling you. They are always calling you when you're not at work. So what I tend to do on these uh, breaks that I get or when I, you know have these late calls <clears throat> I sleep in that's one of course and then I like to listen to music on my TV so that I can walk around my house freely as can be and praise get my praise on in the morning and while I'm getting ready and everything oh. um, but today's song of the day is only Jesus Kirby Capel Chandler Moore and DOE um, it's a worship song. It's beautiful. It has a spontaneous um, portion of it midway. This girl's voice is amazing. I highly suggest if you like worship music and you're looking for some new suggestions, this is one of them. Check it out. Okay guys, it's currently 9.02. I got 25 minutes before I have to be in my car and head to the clinic, but let me tell you guys something real quick. My brother is so sweet and his wife because he saw my last reset, 2023 reset vlog. If you haven't seen that, I'm gonna go ahead and link it up. But in that vlog, I showed you guys the little bitty 
calendar I had that I bought that I didn't um, realize the dimensions of it and like none of this spacing is gonna I'm, I'm a very messy writer I'm a large writer and nothing is gonna fit in here especially since I'm starting classes I'm telling you guys I am on my A, a game when it comes to finishing this bachelor's degree I'm tired of having it I'm tired of being in school for that I want to be in PA school already so he bought me a Dave Ramsey planner now if you don't know who Dave Ramsey is he is amazing when it comes to financial advice um, so if you haven't checked him out, I'll try to find his website and link it down below. He has podcasts, he has books, he has calculators, everything that you can use to be successful in financial planning. Financial pl planning. Now, my brother bought the 2023 Ramsey Gold Planner, and I'm excited to open it. I wanted to um, but I got it like last week, but I was out this weekend, so I didn't get to see it. But I am so happy. This is so cute, guys. I feel like this is like a aesthetic moment, you know? <laughs> it's like, no. Um, ready? <gasps> Look, it says this is your year on it. Oh my gosh, guys! <laughs> the difference between the planners, dude! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's gorgeous! Your outlook determines your outcome. Man. Neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God. Look at all this, guys. They're like quotes, biblical quotes, quotes from um, famous people, quotes from him. Wow, this is amazing. Jonathan, Jonathan, shout out to you, man. Shout out to you because I am going to tear this planner apart. Look, it has to do's. For today, uh, it has the regular calendar that it's set forth with, monthly teaching. Uh, it teaches you about certain goals, physical fitness, financial planning, um, and then it gives you the overall calendar. So, bro, I, I'm in love. Thank you so much. This is a beautiful, beautiful planner. And if you want it, I'll link it down below. I'll just ask my brother to send me the link because he ordered it for me. But uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful um, planner. And I can't wait, I cannot wait to use it. Okay guys, I'm about to pull up to this gate right here. Um, it's 9.30, I don't have to be at work till 10, so, but I'm gonna get there a little bit early because if you saw my last vlog, you guys saw that where I work is a little bit of a mess because we didn't put anything back. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get there early and try to fix that um, ahead of time. But I'll see you guys when I park at the clinic. 9.43, I made it to the clinic. Today's schedule, oh. Well, it looks like, oh, see, I can't find my name tape, but that's why you buy an extra one or bring an extra one on your back. So it looks like I'm gonna be wearing that one even though it's way too big. This is why I extremely don't like these regular tops. I like the summers better, um, and you guys will see a difference throughout my vlogging experience, but yeah, no. Um, I just don't like it. it. It falls off easily at the Velcro, um, and I'm just waiting for it to be hot again so I can wear the summers. So you guys know the drill. We have the badge that we need to wear in the clinic. Lieutenant Russ is back, so I'm going to chit-chat with him. He went on like an e emergency room rotation down in Texas, so I'm excited to see what, what he learned there. Um, in regards to my two medics, Frosto and Willis, they'll be there too. And hopefully I'll be able to vlog a little bit inside, but now that it's a full day schedule with patients running around, we'll see. I hope you guys understand. But after work, I'm gonna go to the gym, take a shower. We have to go grocery shopping. I have to figure out what exactly I have at home because I don't have any real food 
in my lunch bag I have snacks that's all I have fruits and snacks it's not bad but I'm going to the gym and I really don't want to pass out so um, once I do that I'll go back home and today is my first day of school for my organic chemistry lab class that is online uh, I just purchased the kit because they give you like a kit that comes home and you mess with it. I purchased that kit like three days ago and I'm pretty sure it's not going to be here this week. But the good thing about that class is that it's um, the schedule is whenever you feel like doing it. So I could get all 12 labs done um, within like the first two, three weeks. But we're not going to do that. We're going to take our time because I have another class at Barton Community College that I have to take, which is anatomy and physiology. And that one's going to be a little bit harder, of course. But I'm going to sit down with my new planner that my brother Jonathan gave me and I'm going to write down everything that I know, dates, times, when I'm going on leave, when I have military schools to attend, for example, February 8th to March 3rd, I will be out in Nebraska, um, but I'm going to see if I could try to vlog that experience, maybe not school, you know, but after school I heard you get your own time so I can let you or talk to you guys about that if you're interested, comment down below, but I'm going to stop talking, I'm going to go inside. I'm gonna help move around this furniture and yeah. Uh, what we're gonna do? Yep, or view my schedule because if it was accepted, then Whoa. it would be there. Yeah. He's taking the same class as me, anatomy and physiology, except I'm doing the eight week course and he's doing the full, what is it, 12? Yes. Yeah. I'm kind of envious because <laughs> I think it's gonna go well for him and for me, it's just gonna be crazy. But that's a bargain. Just specialist wallets. Hey, what's going Soon on? Soon to be PFC Woolets. No. Yeah, <laughs> <you're right. laughs> All right, so we already introduced Woolets. And then we have Sandbag Frosto, who came. <laughs> he literally had his wisdom teeth pulled. Punched him in the face, actually. <laughs> Look. Yeah, he had his wisdom teeth pulled. And he had a good, like, two week vacation added to his winter leave. It was like two weeks. It felt like two weeks. Okay. It yeah. felt like two weeks. But now he can fulfill his dream of being a stunt double for Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it's what do you think is one thing you you would tell somebody before Alvin, enlisting? Um, don't lose all that weight and then get comfortable and get fat again because they will kick you out. <laughs> yeah. I said like one thing that you tell people they, before they enlist. Be ready to give your soul away because you're going to have to do everything they say at every moment. <laughs> Touche. Especially when it comes down to me, you know, because I'm the boss. <laughs> like being a clinic medic? Of course I do. What do you like about it? I actually get to practice medicine. I don't have to lift things up and put them down and not use my brain like a caveman. <laughs> That's fair. He did that for the beginning and then he got put into the clinic. Were you thankful? Yeah, it was way better. <laughs> it was way better. Heater. I'm not freezing outside. <laughs> That's fair. Um, what was the worst thing of being evac medic? Being the boxes from that side of the room to that side of the room. And That's fair. Being we didn't. to go right back. <laughs> it yeah. says it needs to go right back where it came from. Oof. Yeah, but uh, I already talked about he's in school, and he's also in school. What school are you going to? To AMU. What does it stand for? American Military University. American Military University, and then you're going to Barton. Yes, I am. And then I'm at Kansas State and Barton at the same time. So, you guys are gonna see. <laughs> a lot of me. I'm awesome. Yeah, a lot of these guys, and I'm gonna consistently talk to them about how classes are going. So you haven't started class yet, but you have. How yeah. is it? It's all right. It's just annoying. Annoying. Every day having a new thing to do. This is just totally like an eight-week class. Oh, you did eight week. Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah, High speed. <laughs> Golly. Yeah, I did 12, whatever. Well, <laughs> it's good to start off with the longer term because if you haven't been to college before, then you're not gonna screw yourself over. But nobody told me. Nobody told me. <laughs> you just enlisted, or you <laughs> enlisted? Fresh out of high school, you still got that age. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 19. Don't. <laughs> 27. Uh -oh. Don't lie. He doesn't look 27, right? He looks like 42. Yeah. Am I right? To all, uh, to all Alvinez's fans out there, I am a single man. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> guys, look at this. I swear when we... I didn't even look like that. <laughs> well, after your wisdom teeth, you got that chub chubby cheeks. <laughs> and this guy right here. <laughs> so, 
We got a call saying that one of our dudes, uh, there was a battery fire inside one of the military vehicles and he was in there for like two, three minutes trying to put it out. And then after he felt nauseous and he was couldn't stop coughing. He wasn't coughing anything crazy, but uh, what we could do is walk him in, but there's not much we could do except like maybe order labs to see if like he doesn't have any um, CO2 in his system. But we just told him to go to the ER because they could do the same thing. It's a little bit more of an emergency. So, oh, Hall of Fame. You guys want to get some so we have a thing called expert field medical badge that is happening this month and has to study Wait, where'd you get the packet from uh their website um, my leadership sent me like a pdf of how to register for the test and golly like the med coe website it's on there you can print it out I don't think I'm going to Oh my goodness. That's crazy. I didn't know you had to take a standardized test to get accepted to do this. I guess this is a new thing. It's Maybe they have a lot of people fail the yeah. test and yeah, that's why. Yeah, there's a lot of the people who don't take it very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened? The, what is the normal temperature Rectal parentheses range for a military working dog. Yeah, military no. canine. Yeah, military working dog. Yeah, I just know how <laughs> warm the inside of his anus is. <laughs> so I told you guys in my last video how pre screening procedures work. Um, even though you showed up late, it's all right. But. <laughs> this might be best. What, what happened to him? Where was he at? Zero six o'clock? Well. Well, I'm gonna give you a death stare first, cause he didn't um, he didn't do what I asked. Okay, <laughs> is that right? Yeah, that's right. What'd you ask? Um, I mean, he should already know I didn't have to ask. Him, but last time I checked, we're done at six. We're out at six. But I'm still with the patient. And I walk out of the room at six oh one. He should have at least have the common courtesy, like, hey man, what's going on with that person? Do they need to come in at this time? No, he just left with all the patient information. Didn't even have a piece of paper to sign. <laughs> he said everyone for themselves. We have a late call, say less. He so said my bed was calling. I gotta get my nap in. I just had four weeks off. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be. And so, <laughs> if you leave it unguarded, <laughs> you grab tape. I don't know what you're talking about. You grab tape and you tape over you're the, the cat. <laughs> so that when he tries to cat in, it logs them out. Cause you know he did that to him last time, <laughs> and he had to go get it fixed. Uh, e. W H. All right, you're gonna have to solve it at this point. What the? What the? I used to say, what the heck? What the frick? What the freak? Yeah. What the <laughs> freak? <laughs> okay, guys, well, um, I sent my guys to lunch because lunch starts at 11.30. It's 11.45. Um, one of them is coming back at 12.50, and the other one has BLS, basic life support, uh, to renew their certification at 1.300, 1 o'clock, so he's not going to be back. And then we have front desk duties because our civilian receptionist isn't here today. So we have that from 1500 to 1630 since we're MOD. MOD stands for medical officer on duty. That's Lieutenant Russ. But usually we are out of here by 1500 every day. Today is going to be a late, like later 1630 because we are the ones that usually take in patients when the rest of the clinic has left up until 1630. So yeah, I'm going to look up some things some school things some certifications just pass my time because we have no patients until 1300 we only have two patients today since we're mod so Guess who missed their BLS class because they thought it started at 1300. So now I'm back and I'm on demon time. <laughs>
And uh, we're gonna. Oh, well. Wow. So this is chip covering 101. <laughs> you need this chip to sign into a computer. And if it's covered up, then we're gonna watch him get angry in a second. You didn't even know he put it on your cat that last time. It so was him for sure. No, it wasn't. Oh, well, guess what? <laughs> Sucks to suck, nerd. <laughs> oh. February 9th. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you'll be expired for a uh, little time. Say what? Did your, did your BLS it's February 22nd. Yeah. Alright, so, um. I'm telling you always does um, that. I'm sure you're. Every time it closes and come back, I can't make the reset. Even then, you're going to go on to the next month. You didn't? I forgot about that. Oh, you did? Oh. I forgot that was even a thing. So you don't know who put tape on his cat? That states that you active. I don't know. He told me to pull out my camera. And then if they want to make a personal all right, this is the 116 PA provider, Lieutenant Russ. Say hi, Lieutenant Russ. Hello. You can see him in the other videos. I've filmed a bunch of times with him in regards to questions for iPad program and stuff like that. But he's going to get me through this. He's going to get me through this clinic and through this military career. And then I'm out. Okay, guys. Um, I have packets here. These packets are basically for people that are ETSing, um, which means leaving permanently the army, leaving the army permanently, uh, whether they're chaptering based off of medical conditions or other judicial conditions, um, whether they want to do special forces, they want to do SEER, um, and all these special. Special Forces, Sears, Ranger, Airborne, all these other um, schools that you can attend. And physicals are basically to make sure that they're up to date, speed, health, um, to attend these schools or to be put into these processes. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on these. We basically just print out their labs, make sure they fill out all this information, um, print out any tests that they've taken lab-wise. Um, just so that the physician that ends up signing on this and Lieutenant Russ also signs on them can basically say yes I agree that this person is fit for duty or fit to go to school or good to get out basically um, yeah that's just a, the dumbed down version uh, for those people that don't know anything about the military but these are just extra work that we have to do based off of the school that they want to go to they have to do certain labs um, and these labs are indicated on this piece of paper and before airborne appointment sniper ranger special forces um, everything that's highlighted is all the labs that they need to go do and get drawn in order for their packet to be complete so i'm just going to double check that those packets have done each of these labs and print out their stuff How are you, mommy? No, I'm 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 working <laughs> I'm working a full schedule now. So I got what? Ate my lunch and it is 4:30. And what are we doing? We out. We out. <laughs>